Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Hewitt. I'm Director of Research with Ohio State University Sports Medicine. And basically the, the point of the overall take-home messages of my talk were that the ACL tears due to four common mechanisms where the knee is relatively straight, the foot is planted on the ground, the center of mass of the body is displaced away from the, the surface of the foot, and, and these combination, combinatory mechanisms are fed into by four neuromuscular imbalances, which I call leg dominance, I call quad dominance, trunk dominance, and limb dominance. And what we can do using interventions, for instance, with leg dominance, we can teach using balance and asymmetry exercise athletes to be less leg dominant. For trunk dominant, we use dynamic core stability training with the foot on the floor so that it translates out onto the field and on the court. With quadriceps dominance, we turn on the posterior chain of the lower extremity. We activate the glutes, the hamstrings, and the quads. And with ligament dominance, what we do is we teach them greater frontal plane control of their body and to flex, extend their body and use the musculature to absorb those forces on the joints rather than allowing those forces to be translated to the joint and to the ligament. So those would be the primary take-home messages of my talk today.